Welcome to the Met Office, where we are going to hear about our very unique brand of hackathons. We'll be hearing from a wide range of people who have participated in them, young and old. But before we do, let's first hear what a hackathon actually is, and a potted history from one of the UK's earliest pioneers of this exciting 21st century phenomena. A hacker is someone who learns through making, exploring new technology. And when you bring these people together for a weekend, we call that a hackathon. It's a competitive event, they're competing for prizes, but what they're really trying to do is show off what they can do with technology and create prototypes. We've held nearly a dozen of these events now at the Met Office. It started with the International Space Apps Challenge in 2012, which was a big international event. We've gone on to do um, an even bigger event with NASA this year and we've taken our events to um, international conferences where we've used a hackathon as an icebreaker and most recently we were hacking in front of a public audience in the Victorian Albert Museum as part of London Design Festival. So, who attends a Met Office hackathon and why do they do it? Um, yeah, NASA Space Apps has really inspired me to do a lot more with other technologies that we wouldn't have otherwise been able to use such as what we're already using in universities and it's also inspired me to go on to other events such as other hackathons around the country simply because they're so involving and supportive of people with interest in engineering and programming. Uh, it was uh, more interesting because uh, we were a bunch of strangers really like on the event and uh, we just met and all of us gravitated towards a particular problem and uh, we tried to find a solution within the given time and uh, most of us didn't have a clue when we started but we eventually got at some point you know, so it was interesting. Um, being a GCSE student it's, uh, it's been really nice to bond with some of the uh, uni boys uh, with the PhDs and the undergrads. Uh, and it's got me a lot more involved in engineering and uh, IT at Oak London College. Uh, what I found quite nice was going from having nothing at the start to having 24 hours later a prototype of a satellite which with a bit more tweaking could actually be put in space and then being offered to exhibit that at the Victorian Albert Museum later in summer was also a very nice experience. Joining me now is one of our scientists from the Met Office. Selina, welcome. Tell me, how did you become involved with the very first Met Office uh, hackathon, the Space Apps Challenge in April 2012? I had recently started growing fruit and veg in my back garden and I thought it would be really great if more people could get involved by providing them with location relevant information about what they can grow locally. So I put forward a challenge called Growers Nation and it's based around um, giving people the advice they need um, to know when to plant and harvest their crops. And did it help being a Met Office scientist? Um, I feel it helped quite a lot because I, I was already aware of the climate observations and forecast data that we have available um, and we pulled that together with soil data and other information to okay. create the app. Sure. And how did it go on the day? Um, it was the first time I'd taken part in an event like that and we presented the challenge and then got quite a massive group of people together um, and then set about working on it. And so were, they, were they all based in Exeter? Um, no, th we had about 14 people based in Exeter, but it was also a very international team. Um, we had people based in Nairobi, the Dominican Republic. We collaborated with a US team called the Pineapple Project. Too. Um, we, uh, we communicated largely by Skype conversations. Fantastic. And um, we had about 19 people in wow. one Skype conversation, which it, it was ve a very exciting project to be involved in at the time. Brilliant. And has anything happened since then? We've continued working on it. We get together every now and then. We also um, started another project called the Soil Testing Kit in response to our need for more soil data. And that's based around developing um, inexpensive soil sensors that measure soil moisture, soil temperature. And um, we're working towards solutions for those. Great. Selena, thank you very much. You're welcome. But a hackathon is not just the academic domain of scientists and students. They attract individuals from a much wider audience. So I'm a consultant at um, the World Bank and I work within a division called Connect for Climate and they're doing lots of projects on climate change and I look um, foremost at the sustainability in fashion and also sustainable food. So this is really of interest to me and I thought all of the projects were really imaginative and um, I've just been, I can't believe that people have come up with these ideas and executed them and made them within two days. It's really amazing. So my name is Selena and I'm 
my name is Helen Storey. Uh, I'm here as part of Centre for Sustainable Fashion and the piece that I'm working on is called The Climate Dress. Uh, in fact, we've decided two minutes ago we're going to do two or three of them. Uh, one dress is going to um, alter its coloration in line with temperature change uh, on the planet. And the second dress is going to be the beginnings of a new way of communicating between people. So your clothes are going to be able to uh, project uh, what you're feeling, uh, messages that you want to convey to other people, um, and stream world news. Hopefully this brief presentation has helped you get a flavour of what it's like to be part of a Met Office hackathon. Right now, as we near the end of 2013, we're already gearing up for our next hackathon, another NASA International Space Apps Challenge. This will take place on the weekend of the 12th of April 2014. It will be held jointly here at the Met Office in Exeter as well as the Science Museum in London. We're also expecting dozens of other cities across the globe to host their own simultaneous events. Interested? Then why not come along? Please refer to our website for more information and thanks for watching.